Hey, how's it going? Hope you're having a shoot one. I'm in my hunting gear today because we're gonna go take some photos, not hunt, because I don't do that. Because I'm not good at it. And I don't have a gun. And I live in Australia. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna be using this tonight. It's a pretty simple thing to make. It's just got some, just a random plastic tube, some PVC piping, and this was a little bit loose, so I just glued it together. And then, Oh, a rubber cone and this particular rubber cone has these little grips inside of them or these little teeth grips or something inside of them and there's This torch that I found which just sticks into that rubber bit really nicely and then fits onto this PVC piping part Which lights this up. Oh, yeah torch is a bit dodgy because my last light painting video was such a fucking disgrace I'm here to redeem myself tonight using this thing. Let's go give it a shot. Oh, but before we do I gotta clean my car I'm just gonna clean the wheels and then we'll actually use my car as a prop Right, I see this stuff. This is made by God. It's called wheelie clean. It's by by Bowdens. Before you wet them you spray this on and then you let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then it basically just cuts through all the grease and grime. Dude, <laughs> I'm just driving over to the location right now, but check out this light right behind me. I had to pull over and look at it, because it's so funny. <laughs> That is one fucked up light. All right, I think here could be a really cool place to do it, but I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last time and just like set my camera up and take a shot. So what I recommend doing, and I don't know if this is for you as well, but sometimes for me, I feel like I wanna like take photos right away and I feel like sometimes I rush it without thinking about it. And I can't stress enough how important it is and how much better your photos will be if you just take a deep breath and then just think about the photo that you're about to take. I reckon that's a pretty good composition for the car right here. So I will try it. Let's do the setup, let's take a test shot, and then we'll figure it out from there. I'm gonna look so stupid doing this. Oh, quick, it's on a timer. All right, let's see, did I do good? Okay, very interesting. Definitely way better than whatever the fuck I was shooting last time. <laughs> I'm gonna keep trying until I get something I'm really happy with. It's actually pretty cool. It's got this like really wispy effect to it. I actually like it. I actually really like this one. Actually, really quickly, do you know what that reminds me of? It's only because I've been playing a fuckload, but you know in Need for Speed Carbon, <laughs> they have these like blue lines that like wisp across the screen when you're in the menu. That's what that reminds me of. I've been playing way too much Need for Speed. Anyway, let's turn the lights on. Bada bing, bada boom. All right, lights are on. This is probably the most important part is that make sure you always take a lights off shot when you're doing the main long exposure. If you're doing any light painting of the car, you wanna have the lights off. So the lights aren't interfering and overexposing your shot and parts of the car. So I was shooting all those photos on F14 ISO 200 and 30 second exposure to get the long wispy light painting lines. Now I'm gonna take a shot uh, like half a second F14 ISO 200 just to get the exposure of the headlights. And then I'll take a 20 second exposure. The brake lights are gonna make a red effect on the ground and the front lights are gonna have that LED blue light on the front and which will all merge together later once we're back in Photoshop. Because I feel that like, if I can get up to a bit of higher ground and then shoot back down onto the car, that may work even better. I'm gonna get a front shot this time and I'm gonna go around the car just like we did last time with the little light painter libus, libus stick, libus stick. What the fuck am I saying? It's past midnight right now, so bear with me. We're gonna go around the car again with the lightsaber thingo. Pretty much gonna try and outline the car. We'll see what happens. Okay, well that looks, that looks really cool actually. <laughs> Holy shit, that's awesome. I've done car light painting before. I did it with a bigger LED bar with the Porsche KN. This is more of like a home job it's like less technology <laughs> and uh we're at like pretty average location i mean it's just a car park barely even a car park it's actually the back of a clubhouse 
<laughs> in a park. While I'm out here being a weirdo in the woods, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. But yeah, let's just go home and we'll figure out the rest. I think I like this light painting the most. I don't really know what was going on here. Like for a bit of plastic with a torch on it, I think we did a, a pretty decent job. So I'm gonna grab this image, this photo as well of the lights, uh, like the front and the back here as well. And then like a really underexposed shot here of the tail lights as well. And I'm just gonna right click and edit all these in Photoshop. Once all your photos are in like sort of the one panel here, we're just gonna select both of them by holding down shift and then select to lighten on your blend mode here and then it's gonna merge all them together. You wanna to zoom in and just check that it hasn't moved. Like the tripod sometimes, like when you take each one of these photos, sometimes your images can move slightly. So you can just click over them just to see if the camera has moved slightly, which I don't think it has, which is great. Otherwise you can just use the arrow keys just to move the photo up or down slightly just to rematch it. Anyway, I'm gonna hit Command S. That's gonna save the file and it should pop up back here in Lightroom in a second. Now we can just give it an edit. I'm just gonna chuck a preset on it, chuck Storm on, maybe the exposure down a little bit, highlights up, a bit more of a bluey tint, maybe a bit more clarity. Maybe we can get these blues in the light painting part just to pop a bit more. So I might bring the luminance up a bit and the reds in the tail lights maybe. Might bring a graduated filter down from the top here just to darken this whole section, but keep the highlights up. And I'm gonna take some of the oranges out just by bringing the temperature across a bit more to the blue. Another graduated filter from the ground here. Ooh, that's cool. Highlights up. All right, there's before, there's after. I might just bring a brush over the front wheel here just to brighten it up a little bit more. And I might just do it with a bit of the car here as well. I'm just gonna take a bit of saturation out of the car here just to bring back a little bit more silver. I wouldn't worry too much about that area there. Before, after. Yeah, next time I would have liked to go to a different location, but I picked this location because it was already really dark. So it was gonna make the light painting stand out the most, which it did. But I think next time I'd like to try this somewhere else. So this photo was edited using one of my Lightroom presets. If you wanna go check them out, I'm gonna leave them in my description there, or you can go check them out at streamline.store. They come in a pack of 25, and they each come with a walkthrough tutorial for each one of the presets. And then on top of that, they have Lightroom tutorials as well as a bonus in the pack. And also, 25 of my raw images there if you want to practice your editing or do whatever you want with I don't care it was actually really time consuming to do that shoot like it took an hour to take two photos it's definitely a lot different than what I'm used to I'm more used to like run and gun sort of just like set up the car I won't even put my camera on a tripod I'll just run around and take as many pictures as I can and I like that I kind of like moving around being a bit more stagnant and having to set up a tripod and sit there for a bit longer was definitely a lot, a lot more different than what I'm used to with car photography. I hope I taught you something new today. I learned a lot, a lot more about light painting. It's something I want to do a lot more actually. Hopefully I can get a bit better at it the more that I do it. But if you did like this video, leave a like down below or help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, have a shit one. This is what I ended... This is uh this is what I ended up getting uh ugh. if you wanna go check out my Lightroom presets, I'm gonna link them up. I literally cannot fucking speak. What the fuck? So this photo is you This photo is ed Oh my god, why the fuck can I not speak today?